Hello and welcome to my channel, Nicola Yoga. My name is Nicola. So we are on day six of 33 days of yoga. So I decided to change it up a bit. So instead of making this more for power yoga, which all yoga is power yoga, it's essentially taking back our power, I'm actually going to work into issues in the body. So today we are going to be working on tight hamstrings. So I hope you have some water available. You may need blocks and a strap. So if you need to pause the video, maybe get a belt or if you do have a yoga strap, great. Um, if not, if you don't have blocks, then maybe use a book um, or something that helps you to prop up. Um, so your water available in something comfortable and before we get started if you haven't subscribed already hey ho it's just here all right so let's get started today so we're either going to start in kneeling which is varasana hero pose so if you're kneeling allow your sit bones to come down to your heels folding the knees and lower legs underneath so ground down through your sit bones and grow tall in the spine, shoulders pull back and down. Slight tuck in the chin, tuck in the pelvis and breathe. Maybe resting your hands on your thighs for grounding today and breathe. Just allowing a few moments of silence here as we settle in. Letting go of anything that's no longer serving you. Floating those thoughts over to our maker. As we give ourselves some self-care here. And just allowing a few moments of silence while we serve it. If you find your mind wandering into thoughts, come back to the breath. Like the sound of the breeze as it echoes through the trees. tuck in the chin, breathe. So you can feel the expansion across your chest and as you relax into the pose, your hamstrings will release, breathe. You can slide like the bend the knees if you need.
knees in towards the chest. And just rock and roll side to side. And this is rock and roll for October. <laughs> and then rolling over onto the other side. Press back up and come back to seated. So from here, we're going to bring the right leg in towards the thigh, again grounding down through the sit bones, you may want to just get two fists and take the pelvis back so that it tilts forward slightly, it will help you to go deeper into the pose. Now you may need to set up with a strap, you may need to set up with a block. So, we're going into head to knee pose. So even though it's called head to knee pose, it doesn't mean that your head has to touch your knees. If you force your body into a position that it's not ready to go in yet, then you're actually doing more damage than good. So just be where you are, never forcing. We practice the Himza, which is non-violence towards ourselves. And then that spreads out towards others. So, Again, slight tuck in the pelvis so it, the pelvis tilts forwards. We're going to raise the arms up. And then exhale as we float the hands down towards the knee, the shin, the ankle, or the foot. And then square off the shoulders as the nose comes down towards the knee. Again, if you need to micro bend the knee or bend the knee deeply, listen to your body. So in an adjustment here, you may want to place the block underneath the knee, just for a little bit of extra support, or again, if you can't reach your feet, you may want to use a strap on the crease of the big toe, crease of the baby toe, and fold it. So again, not forcing, breathe. Again, make sure the shoulders are squared off, engage through the sit bones. And nice long deep breaths here. So if you're still in the pose here, you may have found that your hamstring is just released. So this is where this pose actually releases the hamstring. So as you stay deeper in the pose, or longer in the pose, just feel a release in the hamstrings. Take a breath there, breathe. Crease of the big toe, crease of the baby toe. 
And then again, not forcing the strap. That's not what the strap's for. It's encouraging it. And then again, float the knee down, the nose down towards the knee. I am going to get that right today. Nose towards the knee. And breathe. Oh, that makes the class a little bit more interesting, I guess. And breathe. Engaging through the sit bones, make sure the shoulders are squared off here. to go deeper. And breathe. Taking the breath to any air of discomfort. Deeper than a four to six out of ten, 
Come back, bring the leg back up to center and rest in gentle on your body. Breathe into the discomfort. So this is a really good hip opener. A nice stretch in that hamstring as we release into the pose. And feel like your body is breathing a nice big sigh of relief. Breathe. By now you may have found that your hamstrings have started to release. Allowing the body to go deeper as we settle in here. slowly, 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 start to bend the knee and bring the leg with assistance with the strap back to centre. Take the leg just slightly across centre and five breaths here, maybe holding on to the opposite hand of the strap. And release the strap, bring the knee in towards the chest. And just point the opposite toe, take the foot off the earth, flex the foot with the knee towards the chest, release the heel down, and then we're just going to repeat that but on the other side. So this time the left knee comes in towards the chest, and then again using your strap for support. Take the strap to the crease of the big toe, crease of the baby toe, and extend the leg up long. Now from here I like to wrap the strap around my hand and allow the elbow to become heavy. So again, if your leg is here, be here. If you're here, be here, or a little bit closer towards the chest. So micro bend the knee, bend the knee slightly deeper, Again, the other hand comes to the opposite hip, grounding down, shoulders are away from the ears. Take a nice long deep breath. You can either stay here or as we exhale, take the foot over towards the block. Or books, whatever you have. I reposition my hand. And again, we'll rest deeper into the pose. Breathe. Sukha Pasta Parangustasana. So sweeping one hand, big toe pose. Taking the breath to any area of discomfort. And as we come into about 10 or 11 breaths now, we'll find that the stretch in the hamstring will start to release. Breathe. Slowly, slowly, slowly bend the knee slightly, bring the leg back to center, swapping over hands with the strap, and then just slightly take the leg just slightly across heart center, 
No further than the opposite wrist. And breathe. Five breaths here. And then slowly bend the knee in towards the chest. Point the toes. And then take the heel of the opposite foot that's straightened just slightly off the earth. Flex the foot in towards the chest. And breathe. And then slowly release. And then bring both knees in towards the chest. Massaging out the sacral spine as we rock backwards and forwards. And then from here, we're either going to rock and roll up to seated or all the way up to standing. So I'm going to show you a cheat. So when we rock and roll, we bring the hands to the hamstrings. And then curl up. So engage the core so that the feet don't touch the earth, grow tall in the spine as you come up, that will engage your core. Inhale, come back, exhale, push forwards. Now on the last one, if you hold on to the ankles, it will help you to propel yourself up to standing. But if you're not there, that's okay too. So inhale, exhale, push. <laughs> and I didn't make it, so I'm gonna try again. All right, so inhale, Exhale, I'm going to keep going with it, but give myself some propeller and then I'm going to take the feet out wide and push up to standing. Yeah, I made it this time. Slight back bend. Exhale through heart center. So, from here coming towards the top of your mat, ground down through the right foot, step the left foot back to a 90 degree position. Straighten the front leg up with a micro bend in the knee. We're setting up the triangle. So again, really good for the hamstring release. Inhale to reach the arms to the sides. Pull the shoulders back and down. Engage through the core. Grow tall in the spine. Kick the hip out towards the back of the mat and reach forward. Setting up for triangle, trikonasana. So again, micro bend that knee. Now, before we get started, I do you may want to have the block handy. So, again, kick out the hip, reach forwards, hold, and then tilt into trikonasana. So in this pose, we ideally feel like your shoulders are up against the wall. You can even do this up against the wall if you need. Extend the neck so you're not dumping the head. So hand grounds down to the calf or set up with a block. Ground down for the block, grow tall on the spine. Reach that arm up to the sky. Triple on or triangle pose. Now you may feel clips, that short vertebrae warming up and releasing into the pose. Extend long in the neck so you're not dumping the head. And breathe. When you extend the neck long, not dump, you're engaging that side body. Really, this is really good for the back too. Well, if you don't wish to set up with a block, you can either take the block away and hold on to the ankle. So whatever works for you and your choice, what feels better? Maybe try both and see what works better for you. Today, I want to use my block. And breathe. And then slowly bend the knee and come all the way back up. So from here, I'm going to pivot on the right toe. Pivot on the left, maybe set up the block ready for the other side, if you're using a block. So again, 90 degree angle with the back foot. Inhale to reach the arms out to the sides, relax the shoulders, slight micro bend in that front knee, 
and then kick the hip out towards the back of the mat, reach forwards, hold here, three, two, one, and then tilt. So again, either the hand grounds down to the calf and feel like your shoulders are up against the wall, so heart opening. And then feel into that hamstring, feeling the hamstring release, breathe. Now again, if you want to set up with a block, set up with a block. Reach the hand up to the sky, extend the neck so you're not dumping the head, so you feel that side body engage. Breathe. Or again, maybe your hand wants to come down to the ankle and fold in that way. Whatever works. Try out the block, what works better for you today. And if you feel those clicks in the in the back body, totally normal. Make sure you extend the neck, not dumping here. And I'm gonna sweep both hands down and bend that knee as I pivot on the back foot, taking the block away, hands plant down, both sides of the foot. So from here I'm going to spring off the back foot, coming into our forward fold, Uttanasana. So you can bend the knees here, bend the knees deeply, listen to your body, nod the head chest, shake the head more. Inhale, curl up to a flat back, microphone knees, shoulders pull back and down, extend the neck long, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release, Uttanasana, forward fold. Again, micro bend the knees, or bend the knees deeply, listen to your body. Inhale, so you bend the knees deeply, spread the arms out wide, engage the legs, slight tuck in the pelvis, and open the heart, shoulders pull back and down as we reach up overhead to a slight back bend. Exhale through heart center. Again, inhale up. And exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, curl up to a flat back. Exhale, release, coming down to a ball squat. And stay on the tippy toes, hands come to heart center. Tuck in the pelvis, grow tall in the spine, tuck in the chin, shoulders fall back and down, breathe. And then slowly reach the hands back and coming back to Dandasana, so where we started. Flex out the feet and then shimmy shake the soft glutes away from the earth as we flex the feet and pull the hands back by the sides of our hips, giving ourselves a nice little energy boost and breathe. Or again, you can do legs up the wall as we rock and roll. Massaging out the sacral spine. Again, when we come back up, we engage the core, grow tall in the spine, or help the feet to stay off the earth. And then on the last one, come all the way back. Hands and shoulders come away from the ears. Legs up in that nice 90 degree position. So it's kind of like Van Dassen, but we're on the earth. So you feel your spine supported. So release into the pose. Or you can either do this with your legs literally up the wall. Viparita Karani. So allowing the energy to come back to your hips, releasing the 
hamstrings and breathe. So we're going to finish here today. Release into the pose. Relax the feet. Relaxing your calves. Relaxing the knees. Relaxing your quads and hamstrings. And feel the energy coming back to your hips. This is also a good mood boosting pose. For one of those days, maybe when you can't get out of bed, this is the go-to pose that will give you the energy to actually get out of bed. So release into the pose and feel the energy from our practice nurturing our bodies. Breathe. Allowing a few moments of silence as you relax your jaw. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Slowly bring in the knees and towards the chest. Again, rock and roll the knees back and forwards, massaging out the sacral spine. Maybe rotate the knees one way. And rotate the knees the other way. Giving ourselves a nice little lower back massage. And then raising one arm overhead, roll over onto that side so your head is rested on your upper arm. The other hand sits in front of the heart in fetal position. Taking a few moments here, resting with the eyes closed, or rest with your gaze about two or three feet ahead. It's all a choice. And then when you're ready, straighten out the top leg, push into the hands as we come back up a nice easy seated position whatever that is for you at the front of your head engage through the sit bones grow tall on the spine hands face down on your knees for grounding as you feel the benefits of your practice and just again rest here for a few breaths as we feel the energy that our practice has created for us today again Round in the sit bones, grow tall in the spine, tuck in the chin, shoulders pull back and down, breathe. And then slowly, mindfully raise the hands up, palms facing up, so we slowly, slowly, slowly bring the hands up and feel like you're holding a beach ball above your head. Hands come together, bringing the palms together, and slowly, slowly, slowly as you come through your crown, Sahasara, the Ajna, third eye, blowing the hands past your throat to the Shuddha chakra, and resting at Anahata chakra, the heart center. Pressing the hands together, coming into Anjali Mudra. Again, tuck in. Engage the sit bones, grow tall in the spine, shoulders pull back and down as we tuck the chin, coming into prayer. May the light in me honour and support the light in you. Namaste. Thank you everyone for showing in our practice today. I hope you enjoyed this flow. So let me know in the comment section what you thought of this hamstring flow today and what you got out of those stretches, especially the 
big toe pose. What did you feel about that? So let me know. It's great to hear from you guys, or ladies and gentlemen. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed yet, it's just here. Um, maybe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And again, I will see you tomorrow for day seven. Thank you. Namaste.